Green sea turtles get their name from the color of their body fat, which is green from the algae or sea grasses they eat. They are an endangered species mostly because they are accidentally caught up by fishermen in nets that are meant for fish or are tangled up in man-made pollution floating in the sea. An endangered species is a species whose numbers are so few or are declining so quickly that the animal, plant, or other organism may soon become extinct. Sea turtles can hold their breath for several hours depending upon the level of activity. A resting sea turtle can remain underwater for over four to seven hours. Sea turtles help the ocean's ecosystem by eating the seagrass that grows on the ocean floor. Seagrass needs to be constantly cut short to help it grow. Sea turtles cut the grass short and help maintain the health of the seagrass beds, which provide breeding grounds for numerous species of fish, shellfish, and crustaceans. Without healthy seagrass beds, many marine species humans harvest and eat would be lost from the food chain. The world's largest trash dump is located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It is called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. I edited footage from the Oprah Winfrey Show to increase awareness of the garbage patch. Let's listen to what Oprah has to say about the trash in the sea. Scientists believe the world's largest garbage dump isn't on land, it's in the Pacific Ocean. Estimated to be twice the size of Texas, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch stretches from the coast of California all the way to Japan. In some places, the man-made debris is 90 feet deep. Marine biologists estimate that 90% of the 3.5 million tons of floating trash is all plastic. In some parts of the ocean, there's already six times more plastic than plankton, which is the food many fish rely on to survive. How did all that plastic end up in the ocean? 80% is litter from land, either dropped directly into waterways or blown by wind into rivers and streams from states as far away as Iowa. The monumental amount of plastic trash has created an ecological disaster that has cost the lives of millions of seabirds and marine mammals. When this dead albatross was cut open, its stomach was full, not of fish, but of plastic, including a cigarette lighter. And this turtle, caught in a plastic ring when it was young, managed to survive until adulthood. So I, I, I did not know this even existed. Did you all know about this? That it's estimated to be twice the size of Texas, this garbage dump in the ocean. Sea turtles often mistake plastic bags for jellyfish, one of their favorite foods. Thousands of plastic items have been discovered in dead sea turtles' stomachs in the Hawaiian Islands. Plastic can block the turtle's digestive tracts, leading to death from starvation. To reduce the amount of plastics that end up in the sea, it is very important to recycle and use cloth bags whenever possible. Second, and we're talking with some kids about their one-minute ideas to help change the world. You can 
recycle stuff that you think you could use again. I recycle like cardboard and all the stuff that can be recycled. And sometimes with that stuff, I try to make stuff out of it by myself, like really? sculptures and stuff. And all the plastic things you get out of the vending machine with the toys inside, you can actually make something out of them. Like, you can make something new, like use it for an art project. A paper plate, but it was still clean. You could put it in the uh, recycle. If you were used, you can make make new things instead of making more garbage. Be the change that you want to see in the world. Come on, let's show them what you can do. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. The objective for our next project. I will create a sea turtle background and border with warm and cool colors using oil pastels. I will discuss endangered species and ways to recycle. Today we'll start by drawing a sea turtle together, step by step. Student Rubric I created a sea turtle. I blended at least two colors together. I used cool colors and warm colors. I created a border around my art. I listened and understood what an endangered species is. I can describe what I can do to recycle. I can tell you why I should recycle. I put my name and section on the back of my art. The sea turtles are waiting. Grab your pencil and let's get started. 